please tell me who came up with the concept or who decided for us all that we have to choose between happiness and art? I'd like an answer. And what board meeting of creatives was it decided that we have to choose between self-care and the pen? And what doctrine was it written by some poet or painter alike that we have to jump from our poetic ledges smack into antidepressant pill bottles, sense the blue aroma, sleep in it like a five-star hotel all four seasons just to be infectious? I don't get it. I'm still waiting for an answer. My body is exhausted from ripping a ribcage just to connect. I'm tired of carrying my bags under my eyelids. Sometimes I just want to carry them around in my backpack, and I'm sorry to backtrack, but I'm not condemning your stories of trauma. I believe there's a need for a place on this stage that needs to be addressed. I'm not writing anyone's struggles off. I'm just tired of always writing my struggles off, waking up with cocaine traces on my car key to live and die in L.A. It's like I purposely depress myself to sleep, write, shower, repeat. It's like I depress myself to write, shower, repulsive. I can't even, without this deep-rooted pocket of anxiety, this deep-rooted pocket which holds my artistic license. It shows the year I started poetry, lists my biggest inspirations, Sarah K, Phil K, my credentials for slamming on the mic, check one, two, one. Also, the lungs of exhaled depression turned into expression, so, you get on this stage, I need to see some documentation. I need to see a fingernail etched neck. I need to see dried blood on fresh skin. I need traces of white lines. I feel your hair spike up when I mention cocaine cycles. Imagine how my nose lives, nauseated by the thick smoke from this factory form of art. This shit's not healthy, a gifted curse. I wear it proud. I get on stage. You see a man, organic truth, heroic traits, an anchored cape. The same words that lift you up are the ones that weigh me down. The same tears that you applaud are the ones I haven't conquered. I am trying to replace real love with the scars you romanticize. I am more than sad poet, or at least I try, so forgive me for not wanting to reopen every wound I've incurred. I am about to do something groundbreaking. Watch me do something groundbreaking because of this statement. I might break the grain, but sometimes artists want to be happy. Sometimes poets want to be happy. Sometimes I want to perform without dragging a lung back to my seat. I was up at 3 a.m. last night, wondering, can I be 